What's up everybody, I'm Rick and Daivana and welcome to our reaction to My Hero Academia Season 5, Episode 25, the last one. The last one. Of the season. The battle was concluded, finally. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, I guess now we're just gonna see the aftermath. aftermath and I think we'll also like come back as this happened in, the, in past. the past from where we had left our story with our heroes, right? So I think we'll also we'll get back to that. And kind of like resume now that we know what happened mm. we'll see still have some lingering question right uh, so what was uh, the experimentation being done on shigaraki uh, so maybe we'll see that now mm. uh, so let's just watch and see what this finale has in store for us <laughs> oh, look at him he's there right and they had changed their name too mm. they're not the the League of Villains anymore. <gasps> That's genius, so... What? He says whether or not this is real means you killed someone, so it might not be him. Or he's saying even if it's not him, there's a corpse here. I don't think he killed him. Yeah, I think not if we, if we didn't see him die, I don't think it's him. And I don't think he killed anyone either. Or like maybe they took a body. Yeah, they just took a body. So he was there for a while. He was there at the inception of this thing. Yeah. I don't have a good feeling about what will happen to Hawks. Yeah, me neither. I feel like this will end badly for him. Mm -hmm. The embodiment of destruction. That's, you don't want to be that. I guess Shigaraki wants to be that. That's always good. Never underestimate your opponent. And don't always look for more power. Villains always underestimate. Yeah, he's smart. For four months they were experimenting on... One for what does he mean he what? can't even what? get one for all? Oh, back to the present. Was this training? Robots training again? It is. That's pretty good, putting the acid all around her mm -hmm. and attacking like this. That's smart. I would kill someone though. So they're learning from each other, you know, like getting inspired. That's what this school is for. Yeah. Also, we're seeing uh, how everybody has progress and who they they trained with. They put so much emphasis on the ranking. Yeah, I feel like it's very important to the story, you know. But I mean, even in their world. Yeah, no, that's what I mean, you know, like, I feel like it's part of the bigger problem mm, of With their the world. hero society. Yeah, exactly, like, mm. that, the, the ranking matters so much. Magic hero, that seems like something that would fit her. Yeah, it does. And these three, of course, we know who they were with. Ah. One! <laughs> I'm still thinking about that conversation with oh, Shigaraki. Look oh, at this. He's wow. Using... Oh, he's pretty good at it now. Yeah. Now move on to the next work, you know, just learn these things, one mm. by one. I'm still thinking about that conversation with Shigaraki and the, the doctor, the about the quirk singularity and one for all. That was a deep conversation. Like, so many things were said. And things that I feel are going to be like essential mm. for like the future of the sh show. And especially like to understand like how their power works. 
Y'all about to leave chaos in a few months when the Liberation Front attack. Or whatever their new name is. It brings me back to what you said before that I, I you, don't, you said you don't think that they will actually get to finish school. No. Yeah, I think so too. If it took us five seasons to get through one year. Oh, she's not feeling well. Her head hurts. I think she needs to use the power. It's, oh, like it's, it's itching to be used. Yeah. Previous successor's quirks. Okay. Oh, he got the information as to what quirks they had. Not the second or third users. <laughs> it's funny that Bakugo is always there for I, these yeah, conversations I now. That. Like Bakugo is now becoming so important to to this part of the story. All quirks are amazing to you. Yeah, he's too excited about this. I mean, for someone who had no power, every power is yeah. amazing. Float, I wonder what th that one is. Is he gonna fly? That'd be f oh, he is gonna fly. Shimura Nana. I won. What does he mean? Oh, because he can ah, already fly. He can fly. already fly. <laughs> or somehow. <laughs> oh my god, Bakugo. <laughs> I mean, Bakugo has seen him like grow his abilities over time. He doesn't want to lose. Yeah. It's good to put each other like this, mm -hmm. but also it brings it up the point that I was making earlier still. He's obsessed with the ranking. You know, his dream is to be number one. Yeah. <laughs> oh my Bakugo god. Bakugo is good at cooking? I didn't think that. How is surprising. Time does fly, and it's only been five years yeah. of <laughs> this anime. Uh, he's gonna say something gloomy, like, at that time, we didn't know that we would all die. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing too gloomy. Yet. Training! Yeah, so that she can use her power. Yeah, she needs to learn. We need to get Lemillion back. I decided to live. Okay. He had accepted that he would die. If you think about how much of... Like, how important he was just... Just being there, inspiring people. All right. he, yeah, he has to believe that he can still do that even if he's not a hero anymore, like he doesn't have his power anymore. But that he can still make some kind of difference. Yeah. Paranormal Liberation Front. You gotta remember. <laughs> he's working in a hospital? Oh my god, look at this. X, X day will be here soon. That's what we're calling it. Oh, it's already spring. After credit scene. They're all being sent to the same place. The operation. They're going to try to attack the Liberation Front, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, new students. Look, this kid has an Endeavor <laughs> plush. Yeah. Also, that kid is so young. Now he's being gloomy. <laughs> yeah, now it's the gloomy part. Okay, so next season... Uh... The big fight uh, begins. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I really enjoyed the kind of a postmortem here on the season as a whole as we're talking about next season i really enjoyed the league of villain stuff mm -hmm. right or my villain academia however you want to call it the second yeah. half of the season 
But I feel like we spent so much time on the the first half, which was just like class A versus class B thing. Yeah. That like I feel like I need more. I want more. Right yeah, now I'm thinking I have to wait like what is it six months to see uh, oh, what's gonna happen again? Too long. Yeah. But like, it's gonna start in spring, right? So mm-hmm. it's gonna match with, with the uh, yeah. time where they are. That's true. That's true. That's smart also. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think they did that. Uh, well, they did that on purpose to end with uh, or to start the next season with this event. I wish we had gotten some of it though. Still, because uh, it seems like a lot of teas. Yeah, it has to keep you itching. Mm. Let's maybe talk a bit about that conversation between Shigaraki and the, the doctor. Yeah, so they mentioned the the singularity before, right? The mm-hmm. cloak singularity. Like powers become so powerful at some point, people can't control them. Yeah, and I, I imagine it's it's kind of like um, a similar thing to what uh, Midoriya experienced when he first got the power. You know, his body just like couldn't... Mm. withstand the power but i think at some point even people who are born with the power their physical body just like can't it's control too much, that yeah. much you know mm-hmm. pa- paranormal power i guess yeah because they just get stronger and stronger with exactly. each generation right so yeah it's a fair point right and he's saying like nobody listened when he was talking about that except all for one uh, so. and i think all for one because of the power that he had probably saw it yeah he said that he understood yeah, exactly he understood what uh, what it meant another part of the conversation that was really uh, striking was when he was saying like uh you'll get one for all i, I don't remember the exact wording right but you you reach one for all i don't know what that means like uh, that he'd be able to to beat it or that he'd be able to attain something similar i don't know what yeah maybe the, like I, what I thought he meant, I didn't think, yeah, maybe it's just like you'll be able to defeat. To defeat. That's what I thought, like the most surface yeah. level answer. But I, what I understood was more like you'll be able to attain the kind of strength that could with, like that could um, uh, like withstand that kind of a power, you know, like something that powerful. Mm. And I think maybe that's what the experiment is about, you know, like you're strengthening your body so that your body can use a more powerful quirk like uh one for all yeah but he's not gonna have another quirk he has his own quirk yeah but his quirk is growing and and when it it did that like jump it like broke his arm Mm -hmm. you know so yeah that's that's interesting again a lot of teas right a lot of stuff for for next season Um, that leaves me wondering though what will Midoriya have to do to be able to master all the other quirks? I mean, just the one, the, the strength that he got in the beginning was so much for him. It took him so long to be able to use it. Yeah, but that's, I feel like the nature of the power, right? Because it was physical strength and he yeah. didn't have the kind of muscle to mm. endure that physical strength. But he mastered the whip way quicker. That is true. And yes. floating, I'm sure, is going to be also fairly quick compared to like Mm. just the one the strength part you know yeah so i don't think it's gonna be an issue i think it's gonna be an issue in the sense that he has to train right contrary to shigaraki who's just getting experimented on and then Mm -hmm. he's gonna get a huge boost oh that's i didn't think about that also like the means by which they acquire this like you know higher level of their powers Mm. that while midoriya is actually putting in like all the effort and training and going it like slowly uh, advancing Shigaraki is just like throwing himself in a, in a machine in a lab yeah yeah not to diminish the part that he was doing before right yeah. when his power or when he realized what his power was because it was always like this right mm-hmm. it was true a lot of like fighting uh Gigan Tomak and then fighting all the liberation front right that uh not saying here that Chigaraki is lazy, but he doesn't mind, you know. Yeah, taking the short route. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Whew, well, interesting stuff. Again, I'm excited for the next season. I feel like I've been teased a lot and I need to see this fight because they've been talking about it for so long. Yeah, like uh, it's been teased like the whole season, basically. Yeah, half of it. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, look forward to that whenever my hero comes back and we continue our reactions to it if you want to be there for those reactions we invite you to subscribe to this channel the button is down below like this video if you did comment in the comment section below and have have a nice nice day. day